from Get Your Rock Out here talking to the wonderful Gossip from Firewind. How are you doing today? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's it's perfect weather, if I'm honest. It's not raining and it's not sunny, it's quite nice. It's great, it's great. I barely sweated on stage. <laughs> it was great. Fantastic. That's what you want. No, you want to sweat, actually, but uh, it was a nice. Bit it, it was a nice, over, yeah, a nice breeze. I mean, uh, I prefer that than playing under, you know, a sun of whatever 35 37 yeah. degrees celsius and totally melting you know so it was great perfect weather condition yeah. yep good stuff and you have you pretty much literally just come off main stage um here at bloodstock so did you enjoy the set yeah yeah it was great it was fun i mean it was our second time here it was good yeah, yeah. yeah. and did you have a good crowd was crowd reactions good and a nice size uh i think it was good yeah i mean i kind of felt like at some point like like they were really like cheering and then there were like there were parts where they were really quiet but in the end, they were all jumping up and down, so it was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. It's just what you need, then, really. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you guys have been up to so much since we last spoke to you. I don't really know where to start. Um, I mean, last time we spoke to you was uh, on your last UK tour, so it would have been last year. Um, so give us a brief rundown of what you've been up to since then. You're talking about since uh, the yeah, 2012, the, the, the fall tour. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been we've been on tour. Uh, we've been taking breaks in between, like we were doing the European and UK tour last year. Uh, when the album Few Against Many, we just launched it, like when that was launched last year. Uh, this year we uh, started off by touring America. We did a tour there with Teresa's, then uh, came back, really had a, a month off and literally start, started playing uh, festivals. And we've done about 10 of them. And um, I mean, this is the last couple of festivals, Bloodstock, and then we're doing um, Summer Breeze next weekend. Nice. Oh yeah, and we're going to Australia. Yeah, it's your first time in Australia, it's isn't it? It's going to be our first one, yeah. It's going to be pretty immense, that. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. I mean, uh, we always wanted to, uh, I mean, one of the places, we haven't been to a lot of places. We, we tour a lot in America and Europe and UK, but we haven't been like to Australia. I mean, we toured to Japan a bunch of times, but Australia, South America, Russia, places like that, we've never been to. So, uh, so it's like a dream come true that we finally got those gigs there. And have you had a lot of fans calling for it and saying, we really want you to come and play here? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, we always get fan mail and it's like, oh, come to Chile, come to Brazil, come to Australia. But you don't really know until, unless you get down there and see what's actually going on. You know, yeah. you can't really uh, count on your uh, popularity by Facebook comments or something. No, well, I hope that it's it's a wonderful tour. I'm sure that it will be. I should. Yeah, it should be fun. Brilliant. Um, and you've also got a live DVD uh, just out as well. It's actually just really... an audio CD. It's not a DVD. Oh, is it not? Oh, yes. wow, how exciting. Yeah. So you've just got the live CD that's just been released yeah. uh, as a 10th anniversary marker, yep. and that must be a pretty proud moment for you. It's like a, it's a very symbolic release for us because it marks the 10, the first 10 years of the band, and it's also the last recording with our former singer Apollo, who just yeah. left uh, earlier this year. So um, it's like a, yeah, it's like a, the end of a chapter and the, the beginning of a new one. So it's cool. I mean, we recorded the album over 25 shows all over Europe and in Greece. Uh, I think it came out really nice, both the production, the performance, all the playing from everybody. It's really cool. And it's a nice, it's a nice track list, I think, as well. Fantastic. I mean, when you started the band, you know, a decade ago, did you imagine that you would have done as much with it as you have by this point? No, not really. I mean, uh, I'm very proud of what we achieved, you know. It's just the fact that we get to tour around the world, make a living out of it, playing our music. Uh, it's just mind-blowing, you know. And you had quite a quite a large search for a new singer um, originally, and then decided. I think you decided to stick with Kelly now. Well, he he did the tour with us. We originally hired him to do the the the, the, the U.S. tour, and he did a great job. And we just kind of like went along with it, you know. I mean, uh, and right now we're just doing the festival. It's great. He's going to be joining us in Australia, and uh, when the time comes to start writing a new album, you know, we're gonna. I'd, I'd like to try and write something with Kelly. See how that comes out, you know. And have fans been supportive? Because I know that there's often quite a backlash, you know, when a singer does get replaced. Um, but have they been supportive of him so far? I'm sorry? If have the fans been supportive so far? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, you know, you'll get the occasional ones that'll be like, you know, <laughs> no Bill Ward, no Firewind. <laughs> it's a new trend now, but... Uh, uh, Good old internet warriors. Right, yeah. But, but I mean, uh, there's, there's a history there, obviously, with Apollo stuff, but I mean... Uh, the thing is, uh, Kelly's a great singer, and even those that have been in doubt, you know, once he goes out there and the guy starts singing, they 
everybody enjoys the shows, you know, and they, he does a great job on our, on our whole back catalogue, to be honest. So we're pleased with him, yeah. Brilliant. That's really good, and it's an exciting thought as well to think of a new album being recorded with him. Yeah. Um, have you got any plans for, for writing and recording? Not really. <laughs> Not at the moment. I'm actually doing my solo album right now. Fantastic. So we're going to be taking a little break with Firewind next year. We might be doing some gigs here and there, but we're not planning to go back in the studio anytime soon. And so with the solo album and Firewind and all the Aussie stuff, um, how on earth do you find the time? I just keep busy all the time. I guess we have to ask my wife about it. <laughs> If she sees me at all, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And how do, I mean, how do you decide, you know, who you're going to be with at what point? And how do you decide what gets priority? Oh, well, I mean, obviously, you know, if, if, if Ozzy calls and there's like an album and a tour in the line, you know, obviously that's a very, that's a major commitment. So I am 100% dedicated to that. And when I don't work with Ozzy, for example, now he's out doing Sabbath and then I, I do Firewind. I mean, it's the first time, I mean, it's going to be my first solo album. So I don't know how I'm going to juggle the whole solo thing versus Firewind, but uh, we'll see how it goes, you know, we like to plan things ahead and, uh, you know, it shouldn't be a problem, you know. And who have you got collaborating on the solo album? What can you actually tell us about it at the moment? I don't have any official details for you yet, I mean, I'm, I'm in the studio right now recording and I'm still confirming some of the guests, but it's going to be uh, different singers, uh, different drummers, I'm going to be playing all the guitars obviously and a lot of the bass, but it's going to be some bass guests as well. And pretty all-star album, really. Well, I guess so. I don't know. So I, I mean, I, I have. I'm very excited about some of the people that I'm working with, actually, and uh, can't wait to. It's, it's a different album, actually. I can't wait to put it out because it's a totally different type of music than what Firewind is doing. It's a lot more hard rock and less heavy metal. Fantastic. So, yeah. Fantastic. Do you, do you have a vague release date in your mind? You're thinking a certain month no. that you're going to end. Right now, I, don't, I haven't even signed a record deal for it, so wow. I don't even know who's going to put it out, when, and all that. I'm sure it's all going to start coming together once we go into the mixing stages and everything. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to have a chat today. Thank it's you. been an absolute pleasure. You've got so much coming up over the next kind of few months or so. I'm sure we'll see you with something or other back here very, very soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. We always come back to England. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, we'll look forward to that and hopefully we'll see you soon. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.